Hello and welcome back. We are looking at the infamous Sancti Tigris. So we're going to be asking the question, is it worth it? Or more accurately, is it still worth it considering Sancti Tigris Big Brother has been released the Tigris Prime? Now, annoyingly, I would actually like to say on this, this point that I do believe Tigris Prime should either get a higher mastery rank requirement or Sancti Tigris should get a lower mastery rank requirement. Why? Because people hear the word Prime and they think it's automatically going to be better and the other variants don't really get a look in, they just get used as mastery fodder and then they're thrown aside. Which is honestly completely understandable considering everyone and their grandmother's goat knows how bloody awesome Tigris Prime is. If your grandmother doesn't have a goat, she's lying to you. Now, with that being said, Sancti Tigris is still a very viable weapon in place of Tigris Prime. One, you can get it at Marshy rank earlier, and if in doubt, the vanilla Tigris is available at Marshy rank 4, so do feel free to go for that. However, Sancti Tigris, once you hit maximum standing with New Loka, you are easily able to obtain this weapon or you can just fork out a bit of plat for it if one you can't wait, two you're in a different syndicate, etc etc. Now that being said I won't lie this weapon where it cannot reach that 100% status chance as well as it has a bit of a lower damage output isn't quite as damaging as Tigris Prime. So, why would it still be useful? Well, for a start, the way in which you would mod Tigris Prime to get the 100% status chance does actually drop its damage to a point of where they are both equal, Tigris Prime and Sancti Tigris. However, the part where Sancti Tigris can come back a little bit is 1. The Syndicate proc two, the syndicate proc, and three, because you don't have to worry too much about that status, you can just go for pure raw damage if you want, and at that point, because where you focused on status on your Tigris Prime, the damage output on a raw scale of the Sancti Tigris can be higher by quite a lot, in fact. Now, the Sancti Tigris, although it is a bit more of a status shotgun than some others, but not as much as the Tigris Prime, you can still mod for status. However, I would recommend going onto the wiki about this. However, if my math is correct, the build I have, I have about an 87% status chance. Adding in all of the multi shot and the status chance, etc., etc., that will basically give each pellet of the Sancti Tigris roughly 15.7% of a status chance. That's per pellet. Statistically speaking, because you'll be using Hell's Chamber, that should at least guarantee one proc from at least one pellet. Now, being that I am going for corrosive, that is essentially all you need. As long as I can get at least one corrosive proc, effectively you are having a good day. The only thing left is to get used to its duplex trigger, which is quite weird. Basically, the way this works is you depress the left mouse button and you fire off one barrel and you release the left mouse button and you fire off the other barrel. This is basically the Space Ninja variant of a sawn off shotgun. We all love sawn off shotguns, we know they're brutal. Probably would kill your, your neighbour's cat pretty quick if you had one. You know, you'd not be completely gangster. But in general, this is a very fun weapon to use. Gets a little bit annoying with the reload because you basically go pop, pop, and then you're reloading and pop, pop, and then you're reloading. And can get a bit tedious however on the plus side whatever you're pretty much pointing at up to a certain point after one pop it's dead 
Now, like I said, if you can't get your hands on this weapon, the Vanilla Tigris is a very, very useful replacement. It's a little bit below on the damage front, however, the status chance is much the same, and the duplex trigger is entirely the same. So, you're not really missing out on too much. However, the main reason I would say the Sancti Tigris is a great weapon, as I said earlier, is the Syndicate proc. Now this might not seem like a major thing to a lot of people, however, it is radiation damage, which is bloody useful, especially when it comes into the whole grounds of CC, as well as it heals you. Now this is bloody useful for certain frames. For me, the main two frames I use this on is one Oberon and two Chroma. So why is it useful? Basically, it well it heals you. That's it really, so when you are taking one of your tankier frames that doesn't have too many offensive options, they're a bit more defensive, like Oberon, he gives himself quite a bit of armour and also heals rapidly, having in that extra healing is actually bloody useful, especially when you are pushing in at higher and higher missions. Now as you can see here, this is a few Corrupted Heavy Gunners at level 150. It's not making complete mincemeat of them. A Tigris Prime would, however, if you're smart about it and you utilise Oberon's passive, take a Smeetic of that with you and they're not going to have much armour for very long and from there you should be able to actually pick them off pretty quickly. However, again, like I said, I also use this on Chroma and you start out quite slow, but the moment you get your Vex armour damage percent buff up to standard, you basically just start wrecking. I mean, you, you kind of want to sing Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball a little bit. It's that sort of comical. Along with the fact that where I play a Fire Chroma, I'm all about the healing. I find I can go further and for longer with one, a Fire Chroma, two, a Fire Chroma with a Santi Tigris, because that is a hell of a lot of healing coming my way. One from Elemental Ward, two, two from Arcane Grace, and three, Sancti Tigris's healing proc. It does also increase your max health for a certain duration, but I'm more on about regaining the lost health, because it just means it's just something I don't really have to worry about. So overall, really, yes, this is a good weapon. Yes, it is still worth it. Like I said, it just needs either a lower marshy rank or Tigris Prime needs a higher marshy rank because people seem to just overlook this weapon at the moment because Tigris Prime is the best weapon in the game. Oh my god, it's amazing. Everyone needs Tigris Prime. Which, yes, they do. But Sancti Tigris is still very, very much worth it. So get on New Loka or get on Trading Chat and get yourself this weapon. It does wreck and it will serve you very well. Anyway, the build I am using is pretty basic. Hell's Chamber. Prime Point Blank, Shell Shock, Contagious Spread, Vicious Spread, Toxic Barrage, Seek and Fury, and Blaze. This will give you enough corrosive proc, as well as a little bit of heat proc, also increasing your overall damage. Anyway, that's me, thank you very much, and I'll see you pretty darn soon. Ta-ra!